All new at noon today, town and state police descend on a neighborhood in Warren this afternoon, later taking a man into custody. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Danielle North. So authorities first showed up on the scene in Warren a little after 8 o'clock this morning. And 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer is live in Warren with the latest information for us. Brittany. Well, Danielle, a couple police cruisers are still here on scene a few hours later, but earlier this morning, police, local and state were surrounding this home with guns drawn. Neighbors tell me it was the wake up call they never expected in this neighborhood. State police in tactical gear equipped with armored vehicles fill a quaint Warren neighborhood this morning, leaving neighbors waking up to this. I took my 12 year old daughter to school and go to work. And as we exited the, the door here, we immediately saw cops with guns pointed towards the house. Larry Mock tells me what happened in the next few minutes was traumatizing. We had a knock and we were literally escorted out with a big shield. Uh, it was very unexpected and uh, visibly shaking and a little upset. Mock and his family walked down the street and hit at a dunk and donuts for two and a half hours. According to Warren police, 44 year old Sylvia D'Amico was shooting a BB gun at a first floor bedroom door. Police say they received a 911 call around 630 AM from a resident saying her 28 year old son was in the bedroom being shot at. Officers were able to safely remove the son, but attempts to contact D'Amico were unsuccessful. My wife was still behind a little bit, uh, so they just suggested she stay in the back. So she was occasionally hearing some things like there was a lot of hands up, you know, uh, we just want to talk. D'Amico was eventually taken into custody without incident. The 44 year old is being charged with firing in a compact area and disorderly conduct. Police say there is potential for additional charges. And neighbors tell me police are at this residence about once a month and they were even here with a cruiser and an ambulance just last night. Now I did reach out to Warren police asking how many calls of service or times they have responded to this residence. I am waiting to hear back. So we're learning or waiting to learn that part of this story. But for now we're live in Warren and Brittany Shaper 12 news.